In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to change the motion of an object using the Ease Out property. We have another tutorial that talks about Ease In and Ease Out. I've had a user ask me, would you just show me a little bit more about the Ease Out property? So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. I have a short fake uh, advertisement here. It's just short of six seconds long. Let me play it for you and you can see what's happening, especially with the picture of the car. It's moving from right to left and the other things appear on the screen and then it freezes on the left side. Very simple motion right to left here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ease out property to adjust that motion. Let me show you how. I'm going to click on the track with a picture of the vehicle, double click, and that will get me into my PIP designer. And in my PIP designer, I have a keyframes. We have lessons on how to use keyframes, but I just have one at the beginning controlling the position and then another one. I click the right arrow and it moves the cursor to it. One at the end for the end position. And so it goes from right to left during the course of the of the preview. I click back here and I play and we see the car uh, moving, not exactly rolling from one end to the other. So let's go ahead and see what we can do to change this with ease out. First of all, I need to remind you that these two things are counterintuitive. Ease out affects the motion at the beginning of the movement of the clip. In other words, in the first frames on the left side, Ease in impacts the motion at the end. So for me, I have to turn my brain upside down to realize that, okay, out is at the beginning and in is at the end. So I've been asked to talk about ease out, so let's do that. Um, if I go ahead and play this one more time, watch the, the way in which the vehicle moves. The motion is consistent from the first frame to the last frame. Now what happens, I'm going to click on the Ease Out property for position. And the default setting here is 0.4. Watch the slight difference as the vehicle moves. It's slow there and then it picks up speed and it's consistent for the remainder of the time. Okay, Ease Out again affects the initial movement across the frames. Let me set it for to the lowest value. The lowest is 0 0.01, the highest is 1.0. So we'll go down to 0 0.01 and press the preview play key. And you notice it hardly hesitates at all. Okay, so we'll stop that. And then let's go back and raise it to the maximum value of 1.0. And we'll preview this again. And you see now, it's barely getting rolling, it hesitates a bit, and then it moves at a consistent speed. So that's what it does. It gives it a little softer, if you will, uh, beginning, a little smoother end. And in the middle, especially in the case of a, a long clip, uh, it moves at a consistent speed. Uh, just for fun, even though this is on ease out, we're going to move the cursor to the end of it and I'm going to click on the Ease In, and we'll set that to a maximum of 102. And now you'll get to see what this looks like here. I'll play it this way. So we have a slow start, consistent motion, and then we have a slow stop. So Ease Out is at the beginning. We'll save this. Click on OK. And Ease in is at the end. We'll play it here in our regular preview in the movie. And so here we have, have it all together. So remember, out starts it and in finishes it. It adds a smoothness to the motion when you're doing motion on objects in PowerDirector. It also works, by the way, uh, on some of the other keyframes like scale.